Here, we're going to show how to build an SQL database via chat GPT. So the problem that we're looking at is the following. Assume that we have an SQL database defined. So this might be something for your work, it might be something for a hobby, but it's you know the kind of structured information you want to have. And you've defined it. You've defined the tables and the attributes. Now, the thing is you have no data yet, so you want to be able to get some data into there. Now, you know that the data is out there in GPT. You know that you can get it somehow. So somehow, one way or another, you can move that information into your SQL database. But the question really is, how are you really going to do this? So here we actually have a method to do it. And the method consists of GPT on the one side there, the SQL database, and then the human who plays a critical role here in actually performing the mapping operation. So what the human does is they ask a question to uh, chat uh, GPT, and then the answers come back. Now, using the C phrase system, the human then interacts and rephrases the output that's coming out of GPT into commands that can then be mapped by C phrase into SQL inserts. And once this is done, then you actually have the data in the database. So in the video we're going to show here, we're going to show a demo of this over a simple medical database with organs and diseases. Here we start out just asking for the list of the organs. We copy this, and now let's look at the database structure. So we have organs and we have diseases. So the organs have an ID and a name, and then diseases have a name and a description, and they're related via foreign key. So right here what we see is we see the SQL that defines it. Now, what we do when we go to C phrase here is we paste in the results that came from the, uh, chat GPT, and then what we have to do is we have to, mar we have to mark these so that they can be acceptable natural language input into C phrase. All right, so the first thing we did is we quoted all the, the constants here, and then we're going to prepend that with the, the command to add an organ with that name. All right, we're going to add this to the start of each of these. And so these are the natural language commands then that we're going to run over C phrase to achieve the transfer of the information into C phrase. Into the, to achieve the transfer of information into the database. So what we see here is that we're going, we're getting messages saying that these are being accepted, and then we're just going to go through and we're going to push them all the way through. Okay, now if we go back to C phrase here, we can basically say, what are the organs? And we'll get the tuples, and then let's just get the names of the organs. So the names of the organs that are in here so far are, and these are the names of the organs. Now, now we're going to ask about the diseases that can affect the kidneys. So what we get here is we get ChatGPT is going to give us that information that's embedded in its model. We're going to copy that. And then what we're going to do here, these are the uh, organs that we don't have diseases for yet. We're going to paste this in and do a little bit more of a complicated markup on this or transformation. So we have uh, these statements coming from, uh, the first thing we're going to do is quote everything. And now we're going to do control H and we're going to do a search and replace. So we're going to actually segment this into two quoted strings. The first is the name and the second one is the description. And so when we achieve this, what we'll see here is that we just get the, um, the transformation there. And then we have to prepend that with the actual insert command that goes into C phrase. And that is to add a uh, disease of um, the kidneys uh, with the name. And then once we add that to the start of everything, you'll see here that those are all the, the natural language commands that will actually build uh, the tuples. So we're just going to keep on clicking here, and then we'll just, uh, we, we, are, we clicked all the way through all these and added those all in. Okay, so now, um, so now if we get the diseases, um, we'll see the list of all the diseases. Now, I went through, and it was not hard at all. It took maybe 15, 20 minutes, and I was able to capture all of the, um, the diseases affecting these organs. Now, if you want to here, what you can do is you can go and you can edit um, the uh, specific there. Now, when we copy the whole database, so the database we built up, we can copy that into basically the C phrase format. And when we look at that, this basically is a transportable, uh, portable um, representation uh, of the information. And we can actually change now the schema, and we can do a lot of, we can evolve the schema to, get to, to go on further. Now, in a raw SQL output, here's the actual raw SQL that, um, that was uh, produced um, by, the, um, by the database that we, um, the database we build. 
So what we've shown here is how a human, given an SQL schema definition, can ask just the right questions to chat GPT to produce answers that can then be transformed using C-phrase into SQL inserts to populate a database. While this method is not fully automated, we believe it is necessary to have a human in the loop to do quality control. Finally, note that C-phrase plays a critical role in mapping the natural language from GTP to SQL insert commands. So if you have an idea of an SQL database you want to build, launch C-phrase on AWS Marketplace and you'll have that database in no time at all. Thank you for your attention.